guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm april honey today i have a speed build for you we're going to be decorating my little bear's house i moved my children onto the island which is going to be a members video this week if you guys are interested in seeing it and it was a super cute experience they're super adorable hopefully you guys like it um but now they take have taken up residence in my house i have some instructions for this house he did want everything to be pink. He wanted as much pink as possible. He has a new best friend in school and he loves her so much. Her favorite color is pink. So he definitely wanted a lot of pink. I am shooting down all the presents in case you're wondering. I did decide I didn't like those trees the way they were. So I reconfigured them because I felt like the skinny one needed to go in the front i don't know it just looked better like this to me that's all that, that's usually the reason why i do anything is because my eyes tell me it looks better that way which is how i say you guys should decorate do what makes you feel good what you think looks cute and that is going to be perfect of course we needed a little duck by the water and look at butch he's super happy i don't want to interrupt him or anything because he looks really cute that present is staying there it's kind of taking up resonance right now no for reals if you stick around till the end i did go around and i opened all of the presents so that you guys could see what's in them um but i do shoot them down for the whole build so just so you know they they do multiply just a little bit so i wanted to give him this little sitting area over here i wanted to see if i could find some toys and whatnot to put down I just wanted to make it very child friendly very cute you know my little guy he's only six years old my other one is 10 and it's it's a little bit different than this one but my little guy is still in that very precious young age that i absolutely love i really don't want him to grow up oh my gosh he's so so sweet and so loving and so just six you know six is a great age i love six-year-olds so we're just going to put all of the things around that I know that he loves because why wouldn't I? Um, like, a, like a good mom spoiling their child, right? I'm going to put everything that I know he'll love um, down because why wouldn't, why wouldn't I do that? Of course he has his pink froggy chair. He has his, all the toys out so that he can play with his friends, which I felt was absolutely necessary don't worry the fringe will go um on the other side of the rug eventually it just doesn't happen right now but it does happen later i promise i went and i customized a puzzle just to make it match our little area over here i don't know i just liked it that way and then i realized there's a green mum a little too close and i can't have that so i went in and picked up the flower because i can't have two flowers that are the same close to each other because it drives me crazy. I don't know why. I don't know why. Unless the area is intentionally all of like two or three kinds of flowers, I can't have the same kind of flower like within three or four spaces of each other because it does drive me a little bit batty. I went through all of this trouble right here just to end up picking it up because I wanted to put a fence. I was like, oh yeah, you know what? A fence would be cute right here. Let's give him a little white picket fence because that would be super adorable. So we went ahead and we did that instead. And then I saw a balloon. There we go. I mean, it had to come down, right? It had to. The entire build is like this. Every time I heard a balloon, I think at this point I just do it to troll my stream crowd. Uh, because they don't like seeing the balloons and they want them to be opened and I just like the way the balloons look on the ground they really do give me joy also I like waiting until I have a lot of them to open before I open them because then there's less chance of disappointment when that happens do you guys know what I mean I don't know if you guys have ever um, opened a lot of presents at one time there's way less chance of being disappointed because usually what falls out of the sky is pretty lame so i like to wait until i have 30 or 40 presents laying on the ground because then you have a chance of getting something that's not lame and 
I like to increase those odds. Because usually, if you have enough presents, then one of them will be okay, you know? So I do like waiting um, just specifically for that reason. I want one of them to be good, at least one. And I, so I wait in hopes that one of them will be good. So we're doing what I usually do and filling in with flowers and bushes and nature because that's what I do. I didn't fill every square though. Y'all would be proud. I didn't fill every single square. Um, I did fill a lot of them, but not everyone, not all of them, you know, just, just kind of a lot. And I'm so sorry if I sound a little bit congested. As per usual, I had a sneezing fit right before I started recording, which usually happens. I don't know if I'm allergic to recording or what's going on with that, but for some reason, every time I'm about to record, I start sneezing and it's absolutely wild. Like, oh, I'm going to do a voiceover. <gasps> what? Allergies? Hi. Hi. Did you not see us today? Okay. Well, we're going to give you allergies today. And that seems to be pretty well timed by the universe. Um, I can almost guarantee that anytime I'm going to do a voiceover, I'm going to sneeze right beforehand. A lot. Just so I sound nice and congested for the entire video. Um, gotta love it. And then like an hour later, I'll sound fine. But you know what happens a lot an hour later? Usually kids come home. And when kids come home, then it's not quiet enough for me to record. So... You know, we're walking that tenuous balance, y'all. It's that mom life. So we're walking a little bit of a tightrope when it comes to these things. Hopefully you guys don't mind it. I do think this build did come out pretty darn cute at the end, though, if I do say so myself. I don't know why I switched those flowers out. I don't think I had any good reason, except that I felt like it. I don't know. Um, I did adjust the path because I put the elephant slide down and realized that it took up the whole path and you couldn't even see it underneath. So I did move that. Uh, I don't know why I'm even telling you guys that. You guys are all pro decorators now, right? Like you don't need any help or suggestions anymore. And I'm just now telling you things that you already know and that you already do. So yeah, I don't know why I do that. Let me tell you a little bit more about Ellie, because she's my favorite villager, if you didn't know. I still get asked who my favorite villager is. Ellie has been on every single island that I love. She has, and will continue to be on this island forever. She's always and forever my favorite villager, hands down, no questions, no doubt about it. There will never be a replacement for Ellie in my world. She is a perfection. She's everything. She's the Animal Crossing queen for me. There will never be another Ellie. Okay. I don't know. Just in case you haven't realized, my favorite villager is Ellie. Okay, so this area is done. I think it's looking pretty cute. So I decided to go around and open up the presents now. Look at us go. We're going to open all of these presents. I went around my entire island and hunted down every single one of them. I think there was only like 10 or 12, which is less than I like for there to be. So I did compromise a lot because we were building in stream and I figured, you know what? Um, the poll basically told me that I had to open them now. So I'm going to listen to the people that are showing up to stream, and I did. I ran right by that one once. So it's funny, in the moment you don't see those things until after it's over, and then you're like, wow, I ran by that like three or four times. I did that when I was playing Chilltown too. Like I saw a fish, and then I ran by the fish, and then I kept running by fish while I was trying to figure out how to fish. And there's all these fish shadows that I was just running right by without noticing. And when I was watching the replay back, I was like, oh my goodness. So we ended up with 14 presents. We have an imperial bed. We had the dark bamboo or light bamboo rug, the cafe table, a paper lantern, which I do like the paper lantern and the cafe table, a shamrock wand, a bamboo shoot lamp, We've got some Mary Janes, which are really cute. 
another shamrock wand, iron nuggets, of course. We have a washer machine, that'll come in handy. More iron nuggets. We have a jukebox and some food, whatever noodle dish that is, more iron nuggets, and some good old fashioned bells. And here's the area. Hopefully you guys like this. Um, I know you can be absolutely anywhere, but you chose to hang out with me and I appreciate you so much for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.